Thanks, Runga. Hey, Marcel, how are you? Yes, yes, I'm going to go. Lekker, lekker, man. But what is it? Is it a bit cold there in Italy? Ah, the sun is shining. And it's warm. It's actually warm. No, but we're going to go to the house. So it gives a bit of a bit of a Okay. Um, Mark, Mark, uh, Friday is the last one. A bit of a Ja, ja, um, Afrikaans Engels. Afrikaans is fine. Okay. Um, ja, nee, het was maar teleurstellend. Um, ze zien niet wat bij zelf trots zit. En uh, ja, je weet hoe die game die laatste door ook met het gespeeld was maar bij frustratie. Maar ja, ik denk, um, je denkt wat die verloor van ons leer is um, zekere aspecten waar ons beetje zwak was. En uh, dit was uitgelegd die afgelopen twee dagen en die ouders het op een keer gevat en um, nou kan ons maar net groei en alles opbouw naar binnen ten toe. Maar denk jy ook is belangrijk dat, dat jylle nie so erg in sak en as is hier, want um, jylle het een goeie begin naar die toernooi en het was maar een punt en er was paar besluiten wat jy in jylle gegaan het wat miskien nie anders, anders om kon gewees het. So dit is nie so slecht soos, soos miskien sommige mense uitmaak het. Ja, ja, jy weet, soos Engelsman sê, is nou nie een treinsmash nie, maar, ja, jy weet, um, ons weet, uh, sikke wedstrijde, wat jy, wat jy geleend het gehad om te wen, kan jy dalk, later dalk buiten in die toernooi, jy weet, as het kom by die punte leers en so, maar, ja, jy weet, die toernooi is nie een sprint nie, dit is een marathon, en, um, ja, as het nou een punt kort gekom, maar nog steeds, um, ek denk, soos ek jy gesê, die positieve wat ons kan uitvat, is, uh, is definitief nie goed wat, uh, ons nie goed gedoen het nie, en dit kan ons ek skerper maak, en meer voorbereid, vir, soos die toernooi aangaan nie, weet, so ek denk, dit was nou uitgelig, en, uh, nee, ek wil ek moet sê, voor die algemeen, jy ouwens, het het op die ken gevat, maar, ja, dit is, soos ek gesê, dit is nie een treinsmash nie, ons moet nou net saamtrek, en, uh, ek jy meer akkuraat wees, en sleetel oomlikke, en ja, dit, 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 dit nog net steeds geniet, En, en denk jy net, laat ons maar sê, denk jy ook, is een les vir julle om net bykie kop te hou as, as die druk aankom, want um, het was hier so, soos een situasie van julle, nou 20 punte achter en, en julle word nou desperaat, jy was maar 1 punt, so miskien een droppie hier, of net, a, net a, die bal draaf in nog een paar fase, dan loop julle oor die lijn, net die het, a, type a, a, kalmtijd, as ek het so kan sê. Nee, absoluut, nee, en ek denk het, het was uitgelig, en uh, so as jy van die eerste helft het, ek rare gevoel, ons is goed in beheer, al die telling het mooi gelijk, die kicking game het precies uitgewerkt, soos wat ons het beplan het, ek dink, uh, ja, jy weet, um, die tweede helft was een bykie ander story, um, en het een bykie momentum gekry, en um, jy weet, ons het nie ons uh, oomlikke gebruik, vooral in die 22, jy weet, losbaal hier, of uh, balstrip daar, en uh, jy weet, uh, jy kan nie op negatief op negatief speel nie, jy weet, jy moet ergens het kan omdraai in die positief, jy weet, en um, dit was maar bykie moeilik die tweede helft, uh, Kijk hier een wat toegesak het die, jy weet, met grobies rooi kaart ook, is baie faktore wat een rol speel, maar ek stel nie 100% saam met jou, ek denk, het is daar waar ons net een bykie meer kalm wees, en net terug gaan wat ons goed ken, en uh, net bykie meer beter game management heen. Ok, thanks. So. Marcel, thanks for the opportunity. I, we just spoke to Reinhard regarding his captaincy and everything. How difficult... You, I mean, you're a seasoned uh, captain. How difficult do you think it was for Reynard at the age of 22 to keep the guys together at the latter stage of the match? You no, know, well, if you talk about Reynard, um, I know he's very young, but he's he's got a big influence in the team in terms of his natural leadership abilities, you know, and uh, I think the players feed off that 100%, you know, but... Um, one thing I learned as a captain, you know, um, over the seasons of period, you you do get more experience and you do get more time in your head to make decisions and keep the guys composed and calm, you know. So I think with Reinhardt, um, it's just experience that's going to come with it, you know. That is part of the experience. Um, he's been exposed to that now and he will learn from this and he will decide, okay, next time maybe a different angle and such. But I think all in all... You know, with the with the red card and with the weather and with the mistakes that's being made, it's difficult. You know, I've been there numerous of times in my career, and it's hard to get out of that hole. You know, so this is definitely a learning. I think not just for him, but for the leaders around him that was with him on the field, how best they can support him. Because at the end of the day, it's not just up to one individual. It's about the whole core group and the drivers to make sure everybody's in sync and just bring a bit of calmness. And do you and a guy like Ruan spend time with uh, uh, Reinhardt talking about the captaincy and guiding him? 
Yeah, look, it's uh, we, we have a leadership core group and um, it's mostly where we all share our opinions and how we feel and uh, what we discuss and how can we be better in certain areas. So it's a whole collective growth for the whole group and not just the individual. So, yeah, I'm sure Reynard has grown immensely since the first time I've met him, you know, and it's and he'll continue on growing and getting better. But it's uh, like I said, it's not just always up to one individual. It's about the core group around you because as we learned in the past, um, captains can get injuries and then the next guy has to step up. He's got maybe a different formula compared to the other. So it's all about accommodating that and how we can complement the group, you know. Yeah. Appreciate it, sir. Shut up, man. Hi, Marcel. Um, you look looking into the Benetton game, and I think it was put to Reinhardt that you, you there's responsibility on players and opportunities for not necessarily the backup players, but players that come in for the rested box. Um, you're an experienced uh, uh, campaigner, and you're going into a key game on on the before the break. Um, do you feel that there's that that additional pressure on you to step up in the ski in, in the ski match on tour? Yeah, well, I think um, every player is going to take ownership going into this game, you know. And uh, I think the fact that um, you've been in the situation a lot in your career, you've picked up a few things that will help you for the build-up. So for me, uh, as an individual, are you just looking forward to playing again? Um, we understand there's a rotating policy that Coach Jake um, implemented and he addressed it to the group from the beginning. So every time you get an opportunity, you just want to give your best and make sure you know, you put your name in the hat and um, that's what I'll be fo focusing as an individual. But, you know, being an experienced guy, yeah, it's just to bring calmness and um, making sure the structures gets implemented on the day and uh, complement Ella where I can and um, not just me, but also the other leaders on the field and just bring composure. I think that's the biggest word, you know. It is going to be a big game. Benetton is a quality outfit. Um, they've really stepped up in this tournament and um, won't be an easy job, but... Um, it's one we're embracing and looking forward to. Uh, thanks very much. Thanks. Marcel, how is it? Brendan, yeah. Um, just uh, maybe just speak a bit about your role in the team and how it's changed a bit. Obviously, there's a couple of guys who stepped up, like Elric and that have gone to Springboks. And you're not, uh, you're not in the starting lineup as much as in the past. Uh, I know you're a bit late in your career now, but uh, just your role in the team and that sort of experience that at times looked a bit missing against the Scarlets in those last sort of 20 minutes. Yeah, well, like, um, you know, obviously, um, Ruan and Allah's the captains this year and you just try to support them where you can and, uh, you know, whether it's in the leadership or a bit of chat here and stuff. And then, um, yeah, you know, you just have to make the most of the, out of your opportunities, like I said earlier. If you get your opportunity, obviously, with Marco being arrested and uh, Nama also in the play and stuff, you know, it's a, it's a tough pipeline to compete with. But it's, you know, it's something you'll never back down from. But um, in the healthy competition, I think is good in the in the structure that we have. And I think, yeah, for me, it's just uh, giving back as much as I can, whether it's on or off the field or a bit of wisdom here or a bit of experience. Obviously, coming to this game, it's going to be a cracker. So, yeah, you know, you can just... Uh, had your experience to that as well. But I think ultimately, yeah, you just want to have, you want to enjoy it on the field and um, just help build the culture off the field. And, um, yeah, just uh, be ultimate bull man. Huh? And and then just uh, you, just the way uh, you've seen Benetton change, they, their forward pack has become a lot stronger over the last season, season and a half. A lot more Italian test players coming through there and you know, building reputations. It's going to be a good challenge for you guys. 100%. Uh, no, like I said, and they, they've got a uh, jack of all trades, you know. They, they've got a strong set-piece game. They have a good attacking uh, uh, setups as well. And um, I think their rock speed is the quickest in the tournament. So, no, look, uh, they've, they're a well bullied machine and they, they're they confident side. So, yeah, it's going to be a massive task. But, um, yeah, like I said earlier, we're looking forward to it. Thanks. Thanks, Marcel. Ian? Uh, thanks, Linda. Thank you, Marcel. Uh, what, what would be the big difference in, in terms of the approach of, of last week or Friday's game and, and, and what you're going to get from uh, the Italian team this week? 
the, the, the biggest danger from them? I think the biggest danger from them, you know, is like I said, uh, they, they're not just a conservative team, you know, they, they're all round all over the park, you know, and uh, I think with Scarlet's, we had a, uh, a game plan that we wanted to implement, which we did well the first half. Uh, we knew if we nullified certain areas, we will come up on top. We, uh, you look at Benetton, um, you know, they, they're dangerous all over the park, you know. So you, I think the biggest thing is we have to be accurate in our chances and opportunities as well. When we enter the 22 zone, um, they've got a good kicking game plan. They've got an attack shape that works for them. And uh, set piece, you know, I think uh, us as forwards need to take um, extreme ownership there this weekend. And ultimately, it's going to be a battle of the collisions. Huh? So, um, no, that's something we also know they can bring. You know, being played here a couple of times, we know what the, their forward back can bring. And as you've mentioned, they've grown immensely over the few seasons in terms of how they want to play and the smarts that they back with their tactics, you know. So, no, look, uh, as much as we want to um, give them the respect they deserve, we also tend to focus on our own strategies and what we want to implement on the day. And I'm pretty sure that will be the standard focus going into this game. Yeah. Uh, last one from me. Uh, do, you, do you think that the fact that in, in a couple of games, you guys, in the second half, weren't as intense as the first half? Is that a physical thing or is it perhaps just a mental thing? Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, if we talk about last season, we tended to start off slow. And then as the game progressed, we actually got stronger. Where this year, we feel like we really do start stronger. And we wanted to change that. But I think certain calls and certain factors maybe does change the momentum in a game. You know, rugby is all about momentum. Uh, sorry, momentum. And uh, I think at times we make it hard on ourselves. Like I said, down the negatives, negatives, and then we want to get back into it. So, no, look, it's uh, all about sensing when to slow it down and when to uh, fasten the game up, you know. And that's the experience that will come through in this group, you know. So, no, I think uh, that was a big learning for us over the weekend. And, uh, yeah, we just look to rectify that. Don't keep idea. Sure. All right, cool. Uh, Percy, can I ask that you wrap up? My son needs to leave for a uh, gym. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Lungo. Good morning, Marcel. Marcel, just quickly, um, um, as you have talked about the last few weeks, how do you tell yourself to yourself up and tell yourself to yourself to yourself to yourself to yourself to Ja, ek denk die grootste ding is om nie nou te dwel op wat gebeur het nie, wat gebeur het, gebeur, en um, ons niks wat jy nou kan doen om tyd terug te draai nie, maar ons kan beheer wat ons nou kan beheer, jy weet, en dit is nou om alle energie te stoot op, vir een positieve uitkomst vir die naweet, jy weet, um, as, uh, obviously hier in Benetton, dit gaan nie makkelijk wees nie, maar vir ons, dit moet die best uit jou uitbring nou, in termen van jou voorbereiding, in termen van jou hoe ingesteld jy is op die plan, en wat jy kan doen, om my verskil te maak die naweek, so nie, jy weet, dit is maar over positieve energie, wat jy moet drijf in die span, en dis waar die leiers een groot rol kan speel vir hierdie week, en uh, ja, jy weet, ek denk die, fak, die faktor, dat ook die laaste week is, um, jy weet, um, dan, jy kan alles geer, want die na, is die, die paar weke weer af, so uh, ja, ek denk dat hier is een rarige week, om kans blijzing te gaan, en net rarig alles te geen, goed voorbereid te wees, so nie, ek denk, um, vir die algemeen, dit het seer gemaakt, dit was die leerstellend, maar, Ja, dus uh, ook een geleentheid nou om beter te raak en um, straf terug te maak ons. Maar sal net die laatste vraag, ek het jou, jou collega Reiner Ludwig die vraag, sal so, so, so vraag gevraag, um, jy is nou die, die laatste, laatste twee wester een bykie geknelder dier kaarte. Ek wil nie sê discipline nie, kaarte, jylle africhter is bezig aan, 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 om te vecht vir dit wat hulle eie voel en sy opinie nie noodig altyd terugverdig was nie. Denk jylle, dit gaan jylle geestelik affecteer met jylle, met jylle wester vir hierdie nawek of vir die pad voor en toen die competitie? Ja, nee, jy weet, um, dat is sikker aspekte wat jy nie kan beheer, nie, maar dat is toch wel goed wat jy kan beheer, en dit is wat ons net trap dit focus, jy weet, ons is een span wat um, baie trots vind in ons uh, physicality, en uh, ja, ek denk, het is net om het slimmer nou te doen, akkurater, jy weet, nie om my 50-50 kans te geef vir die oppositie nie, jy weet, um, ons coach John is groot op, dit, op die verdediging om laag in te gaan, en jou nie te... Um, nodige techniek om te implementeren om het akkuraat te maak, jy weet. So nee, ek dink, um, ons moet net dit aan nou drijf, maar ons wil nie terugstaan in die val van ons, hy weet, uh, boksie gaan juist waar hierdie goed nie, ek dink ons focus nog steeds op wat ons baie baie goed is, en wat ons die woude kom boels maak, en ons, um, ja, ons implementeer het net bykie slimmer. Wat sal baie dank vir jou tijd meer, Serke? Baas, hey. Cool. Thank you so much, everybody. Dank jylle. Thank you, Marcel.